So Linus Tech Tips brought out their latest video, or last video I should presume, uh, about gaming on Linux, daily driver, all that sort of thing, and claim that gaming on Linux is not ready. Which, come on. I have been gaming on Linux for the last month, as I'm sure many people have, and so we know the truth. Because for the last month, I have been gaming on Linux, quite happily, playing Minecraft without any problems at all. In fact, it runs better on Linux, so... They say they can't play with their friends. And yet, all they need is better friends. Better friends who play Minecraft, so they can play Minecraft online with their friends, as I have been doing. Anyway, this is a pretty short video because, um... The Linus Tech Tips story covered it pretty well and so have many other uh, major Linux channels so I'm not going to put much time into it because they're really just saying the same story we've all heard for a long time and we've been living for a long time because uh, anyone who's been with Linux a long time has been trying to game or been gaming on Linux for, for years and we know, we know the troubles. Uh, it's bit different for Windows people coming in. Uh, with something like Minecraft, I did have no trouble. Uh, I've been trying a few games over the last month, and of course something like Minecraft runs better on Linux, so I've been actually using it as my main Minecraft box for the since I really started playing again um, on the, the Linux box. Um, Mostly since I changed some things on my main Windows machine, and it doesn't seem to like the RDNA 2 card I put in, the, the 6700 XT, I don't know. There's some issue, it just, it's not as smooth as it used to be. Uh, so when I had the, on the Windows machine, when I had the, the NVIDIA card in there. Um, so I don't know what that is. It's fine on the Linux box and other games are fine on the Windows box. So I don't know what that is, um, but I'm fine to use it on the Linux box and that's great. It one, runs on either one, it's just, better on the Linux. Uh, other games, not quite so much. There are some games that are fine. I've played quite a few games on there. Uh, on the Steam libraries, I don't have a lot on here, but some of them did go quite well. I was playing um, Black Mesa on there and that was going well. I think that's more of a, a native game. Uh, I have tried quite a few of the smaller games on there that were quite good because I wanted to try and see if uh, my wife's games would all play on there if she wanted to go across to Linux, so, uh, which she's done in the past. And I found most of them going fine, uh, but it is way better than it used to be, uh, but the problems are still there, and they're the same problems, mostly just due to a lack of market. Uh, there's not a big market for Linux games, so there's not a lot of Linux gamers, so therefore there's not a lot of market, therefore there's, it's a bit of a vicious cycle there. Although one of the interesting things I did find is I have games that no longer run on Windows for various reasons, or they run sometimes and others not. Um, older games usually. One of them is uh, Episode 1 Racer. I think I've got it on here. Uh, and I put a lot of those. I've tried on Wine, uh, well, uh, Proton on Steam, and they actually run. I mean, this is one at the moment, well, at least last time I tried, wasn't running on my Windows um, 11 box, and yet I can put it on on uh, Steam on the Linux box under Proton, and it runs. Uh, possibly because because Wine and uh, Proton maybe it looks like an older version of Windows, or it look it works more like an older version of Windows, but it runs fine there. Uh, so whenever I get a game that doesn't run on. <laughs> on my Windows machine. I try it over here for a bit of fun. Um, it, it's not something I'm going to play a lot of. I play, I just do a bit of nostalgia now and then. Um, but it is interesting that some of them, some of them work there that don't <laughs> work on Windows. Um, so that's a bit of fun. Another I tried recently was um, Real Mist, which I think is one of the, which one of the versions of Mist. It's not the original. I have got the original, more of the original. Uh, I think on good old games that I got again, um, which I didn't play a lot in the day. I'm not sure when that one came out. I 
can't remember, I'd have to look that up, but it stopped working on my Windows box, or at least it would crash reliably on startup in, in the opening sequence, and then you could bypass that by hitting the key quick enough, and then it'll go into the game and usually crawls to a halt fairly quickly. <laughs> So I don't know why that's not working. So I decided to try that on the, the Linux box with um, Steam and Proton and crashes in exactly the same place in the startup. But if you bypass that, it will crunch along through the game. Uh, not the best at times, sometimes fine. Uh, it gets a little bit sluggish, um, but on the Windows box where it crawls to a halt and stops, it just keeps struggling on. So that's another one that just uh, just seems to like that older version of Windows or emulated Windows. Um, so that, that's a bit of fun, that part of it. Other games are the exact opposite where you, you put them on the Linux, obviously they're going to lose frame rate, they're going to run worse. Um, so that that's that's the life we've had for a long time. I'm hoping that the, the, the Steam Deck will change that, and I think it will, because, I mean, it's not that people don't want to game on Linux or you can't game on Linux, because, let's face it, so many people these days game on a phone. Pokemon Go, which is running on Android, which has Linux down under it. So if somebody makes a device that runs Linux and they play games on it and it becomes popular and people play it then people are going to run games on Linux because it's just there uh, so and I don't it's, it's it, when it comes to a console who cares what it runs on uh, does anyone care what Nintendo operating system is or the PlayStation operating system is Okay, Xbox, it's Microsoft, so <laughs> that's handy for Microsoft because they can get a bit of an overlay between systems and that works good. But if it's a PlayStation or a Nintendo or a something, is there another device these days? I have no idea. I think it's the main ones. Uh, I'm still, like, my brain is still back in uh, Sega Genesis or Mega Drive days, so, you know. Um, as far as consoles go, I haven't had a console in a while. I do believe my daughter has one that she bought for playing Spyro on. And I think that's the only game she bought for it. Which, you know. And I think that was a PlayStation 4-ish. Anyways, that's so, uh, they, they exist. And let's face it, if you want an easy gaming experience, buy a console. I treat my, because I'm a bit more experienced with computers, I treat my Windows box a bit like a console because I find it easy. It's just plug it in there and it'll either go or it won't. And I think that's what it's like for normal users. Like, oh, computers are hard, computer gaming's hard, and you've got to put drivers and, oh, will it work with this video card? Or it likes NVIDIA or it likes AMD or, um, <laughs> whatever whereas a console oh, I got a console compatible game I throw it in I, I, I don't know if that's as easy as it used to be with the various consoles because it's got to be the right compatible console with the Xboxes and that not my field but I think it's a great for parents where they can just buy a console for their kids or a gaming adult where they can buy a, a game and it just works. And and if you want easy gaming, you get a console. If you want slightly less easy, and let's face it, with a new game, <laughs> Cyberpunk, remember the Cyberpunk days, and now it's with other games now. Um, PC is going to give you trouble sometimes, but for me, PC is fine. Uh, and that's what I'm going to play with most of the time, and it's still like that now. I will use my Linux box for what it's good for and I will still probably be playing most of the games on the Windows box. And I'm going to get my dog. My dog is wet. Uh, he's just come in all wet and he heard me talking and said, hey, what's going on? This is Ricky. Hello. Say hello, Ricky. No, you don't say hello. They say hello to you. So they say Linux gaming. What did they say exactly? 
Gaming on Linux is not ready. Well, eh, yes and no. If you want a game on Linux, I want to play a game. I have a Linux machine because I like the stability. I like the um, the security. It, it does my productivity work really good and I want to play a game. If you want to play a game, you will find a game. You will find a game you like. There are plenty of games. Some of them are native. Some of them uh, will run under Proton on Steam. You have no trouble finding a game and having fun on Linux and that is a non-problem. So it's ready in that respect. If you want to run specific games, I need to run the game my friends are playing, I need to play with my friends, I want to play the latest games, you're going to want a PC or a console. And that's simple and that's the way it's been for a while and that's not a problem. So yeah, there's no need to, um, no need to argue or fight or have a big whine about it, it's just the way it is. Uh, Windows is the gaming platform uh, and it has been for quite a while and like I say Steam Deck may change that and everyone will be playing Steam Decks. I don't know if I'll have a Steam Deck. I don't even know if they're going to come to Australia. I don't know if I'd be able to afford one or want to afford one but it should be fun seeing how that goes and how that translates to uh, Linux games on Steam and I will be looking at that. 